Hello everyone, in today's photo news brief, there are recent revelations surrounding Nikon that may interest you. In this video, there are new rumored specs of the Nikon Z6 III. You like rumors? I know you like rumors. How about the Sony ZV-E10 II or the Canon R1 spec leaks? Find out about these cameras and more in this photo news brief. Hello, my name is Vaughn. If you haven't already hit that like button and subscribe, now's the time. Now on to the topics. Remember when Nikon had the Z6 and the Z7 as their premier cameras and they didn't have enough Z lenses? Nikon introduced the F to Z adapter for all of us early adopters that had F mount lenses. I remember the times. If you're still looking at new F mount products, it's panic time. Nikon is discontinuing F mount products and Nikon isn't manufacturing any more F mount products according to Nikon rumors. Sound alarm, it's time to hoard. Get some F mount stuff, my friends. Wait, just wait, just wait, calm down. You can stop browsing your favorite websites or DMing your best friends. Nikon has since released a statement saying the following. We cannot comment on rumors written on external websites. Nikon is continuing the production, sales, and service of elf mount products. Woo! Now I don't know who to believe, but it's plausible that Nikon doesn't want to disclose their long-term plans for end-of-life product. If you go onto the Nikon site, you will still notice that Nikon still lists elf mount cameras and lenses, but some are out of stock. Nikon won't place anything as discontinued unless it runs out of stock. Don't worry, Nikon is still listing popular cameras like this Nikon D6 for over $6,000 and the Old Faithful D850 for over $2,000. And look at these lenses, they're still available. Let's scan the list. There's the 5050, there's the 70 to 200, and the Nikkor 85mm 1.8 standard lenses my question is who's buying this old elf mount stuff me and maybe you we love those heavy discounts on the older nikon elf mount lenses and cameras plus the build quality is better than the z lens equivalents but the main reason why i transitioned from elf mount equipment is the weight plus nikon has been producing z glass for a while so there's plenty of used cameras and lenses that you can buy from third-party vendors Leave a comment if you plan on buying elf mount lenses. Please subscribe to get more Nikon news. Now to those new specs on the Nikon Z6 III. Please remember, this can change, so don't blame me if your wish list of specs is trampled on. All right, here we go. Nikon is registered camera in Asia. Nikon rumors found a Chinese social media site that listed the rumors. Let's take a look at the new new specs. The Nikon Z6 III N2214 has an accelerated FX frame, 24.5 megapixels, X speed 7 processor, not the dual. It's probably going to have the Z8 body. It's going to have the multi angle LCD screen and high brightness EF, uh, EVF, and an optimized body feel. It's going to have seven levels IBS and it's gonna have better video stabilization than the ZF, which isn't much. Pixel shift, dual data stream AF system. The updated focus algorithm processors are stronger than the ZF and the Z8. That makes for a great selling point. The FX frame electronic shutter, continuous shooting up to 40 frames per second. And let's scroll through that. 6K, 12-bit, in raw. 4K standard, oversample 6K to 4K F, good. 4K ProRes 422 HQ, that's gonna be a game changer for all you video uh, fights out there. And let's see, two card slots given, support CF Express B and SD, and USB-C fast charging and HDMI type A connection. Now as a reminder, these specs may be a shot in the dark. Don't blame me, blame social media. 
They probably had the specs on one of those TikTok videos. You know how it goes, everything. Everything comes from TikTok. Please subscribe so you can view a few of my vlogs on camera stuff so you don't have to go to TikTok. Now on the Sony. If you're one of those budget vloggers, Sony is rumored to be releasing the ZV-E V10 Mark II camera in the spring. It will have a better AI algorithm and a better autofocus and it's priced around $900. Finally, the Canon EOS R1 is rumored to be released in the spring also. And the specs below are close to reality if you believe Canon EOS rumors. Canon EOS R1 specifications. These are rumored, so again, don't be mad at me. Wow, this photo news brief had a lot of camera specs that are rumored, of course. If you're in the market for a new camera, wait for the spring. It's too cold anyway to take any good pictures. Please subscribe to get notified of my upcoming photo news briefs and watch my other videos on my channel and thank you for watching.